put lodestone. If you do put lodestone, this is going to happen. That means all electrons in will be oriented at the same direction, making it permanent magnet. Magnet is any type of materials that can create magnetic field around it. Is this a magnet? No, because this cannot create magnetic field around it. Is this a magnet? Yes, because this can create magnetic field around it. So this is a magnet. It was discovered by Thales 600 BC in a place called Magnesia. Now we nowadays Turkey. So that's magnet. That takes us to magnetic pole. Magnetic field are stronger at the both end of the magnet. So if you have a magnet, it has two end, this end and this end. And magnetic field are stronger at both end. We call them poles. So magnetic field are very strong at the end of the magnet. We call them poles, North Pole and South Pole, for example. Now, when we talk about full, it was discovered by John Ross. Okay. Now, we also need to know how the magnetic field lines look like pole and goes to the South Pole. Must like the positive charge and negative charge, the electric field lines start at positive charge and goes to the negative charge. Just like like charge repel, like pole also right. So you see lots of similarity between poles and charges. But one thing you're going to observe is that if I give you a charge, let's say positive charge and ask you to draw fill lines, go draw fill lines. You should be able to draw fill lines very easily. All right, these are the fill lines. Outward. If I ask you to draw fill lines, you won't be able to draw fill lines because magnet doesn't have monopoles all right the char monopole charge exist the monopole magnet do not exist for example this is a magnet if i cut it in half then how many poles i'm gonna have now i have two poles now i cut it in half then there would be two magnet all right each of them will have poles if i cut them in half then i'm gonna have three magnets each of them have poles so no matter how many pieces i cut it if I take a knife and cut it, cut it, cut it until I cannot cut it anymore and I hold that small pieces of thing and I call it whatever I call it, I call it atom and that will have two poles. So there is no way you can separate the poles. You can separate charges but you cannot separate poles, at least not yet. That takes us another concept and that is magnetic force. So when we talk about magnetic force, what do we talk about? Magnetic force creates, all right, so if you have a magnet, this is a magnet, mag magnet creates magnetic field around it. And let's see how the field look like. If you being a nail, nail made of iron, iron is a member of El Nico, then what happened? That nail will feel attraction. The magnet will pull it as, as soon as nail enter the region of the magnetic field. If it is here, then it won't experience any pole. If the mag if the nail enter right here, right here, then it will experience a pole by magnet. Is this a contract force? No, it is not a contract force. There is nothing. This is an empty space between this magnet and this nail. This is empty space. This red a magnetic field that I draw it doesn't exist here it doesn't exist is invisible line so it's not a contract force it's not a contract force It's invisible force it invisible force pull it all right so this is not a contract force so the now let's ask you a question this is a this is B where is the magnetic field is stronger magnetic field is stronger right here so magnetic force is stronger right here it's time to give you the for magnetic force equation magnetic force was discovered by Perry Curie Perry Curie 
Perry Curie. Perry Curie was the husband of Mary Curie. And they both won the Nobel Prize multiple times. Perry Curie won the Nobel Prize once, 1903, with his wife, Mary Curie. Um, he was born in France. Mary Curie, he married to Mary Curie, and they both became famous. He discovered, invented a lot of things. All right. So Perry Curie discovered a lot of things, including the magnetic force and the equation for magnetic force that he wrote current, uh, length, uh, magnetic field, and then sine theta. All right. So I'm going to give you a visual proof of this one. So let's say I have a magnetic field. That means that means magnetic this magnetic field created by who? Be it by a magnet. And that magnet has to be this is a north, this is a south because it's coming from the north and going to the south. The arrows, you follow the arrows. Now, what can I do with this magnetic field? If you are Faraday, you're going to put a wire. This wire carries the current, and this wire has a length. And there is a an angle between the wire and the magnetic field. So there is a an angle between the current between the current and magnetic field. So this is the current, this is the length of the wire, this is the magnetic field, and this is the angle between current and the magnetic field, and this is the visual proof. This is the visual proof for magnetic force. That takes us to magnetic field. So what is magnetic field and who discovered it? Magnetic field. I always like to write magnetic field this way. Magnetic field is mu current over 2 pi r, right? Why 2 pi r? 2 pi r because magnetic field was discovered by Nikola Tesla. All right, Nikola Tesla. 2 pi r is because a current carrying wire. So this is a wire. It carries the current. It carries the current. A current carrying wire creates the magnetic field around it. Who said that? Orsted. Orsted. 1820. Orsted was teaching physics in his class, high school physics. And all of a sudden, he discovered that a current carrying wire create magnetic field around it using compass. All right. So now it creates magnetic field around it. All right. So it creates like a circle. This is why 2 pi r come from. So that magnetic field is weaker over here, even weaker over here, even weaker over here. So magnetic field is stronger over here near the wire. All right. That's what it is. So. Nikola Tesla discovered the magnetic uh, magnetic field, and um, and and uh, it was actually um, uh, the discovery first first realization came from Ørsted. All right, and uh, the mu mu is four pi uh, times ten raised to negative seven, and I is the current. So the the wire current carrying wire create the magnetic field around it, and this is the magnetic field. Okay, now it's time to get the ferromagnetism. What is ferromagnetism? Well, ferromagnetism is a mechanics. is a mechanics to to make any member of El Nico family permanent magnet. So I have a permanent magnet over here. I have a permanent magnet over here. This one was discovered with Alice. Um, and lodestone is a magnet. is is a type of rock. It has. Uh, it is a magnet because it can create magnetic field family. This is not a member of Al Nico family. This is a member of Al Nico family. This is a member of Al Nico. If you being a member of Al Nico family near the magnet, near the magnet, it will become a permanent magnet. So if you being the iron, let's be, let's being the iron over here. So this is the nail. All right, and nail will be attracted by this magnet and nail will become a permanent magnet how is that because nail has how many electron in it nail is atomic number is 26 so let's draw the nail 25 and 26 so all the electrons they are like uh, like a jigsaw puzzle orienting not same direction this is what happened if you put it if you put a if you put a rose or a stone uh, next to this nail, nothing happened. All right, rosary stone is a type of rock that cannot create magnetic field. So rosary stone is bad. Book, nothing gonna happen because this put, put this book will not create this put will not create what magnetic field. Now, what if you put lodestone? Let's see whether you you put lodestone. If you do put lodestone, this is gonna happen. That means all electrons in will be oriented at the same direction, making it permanent magnet. All right. So this is the process of uh, ferromagnetism is a process of making a member of Alnico family to a permanent 